A quick look at Pale Moon browser based off of Firefox. Of course, the question is, how does this um, pale in comparison to the other browser? Well, let's find out. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this new browser. At least it's something new for me. Is, is it just me or is Firefox feeling a little bit bloated and slower? these days. Well, I wanted to try something new, something that is somewhat familiar, and of course if you have been using Firefox, you should have no problem navigating through something like this. Now this is the start.palemoon.org page, and by the way, I will have a link for this below in the show notes. I do like the some useful quick links here, as they are called, including of course Pale Moon homepage, Gmail, Twitter, Google+, and of course YouTube, Microsoft, and so forth course these quick shortcuts navigation functions here if you have been using Firefox again this should come as no surprise edit view history bookmarks tools and help the one thing that is by default here enabled is the menu bar I believe in Firefox the menu bar is not enabled by default instead what you have to the right here is a shortcut for your customization and preferences in Pale Moon Browser, the shortcut is just to list all tabs. Between the two, I think I prefer the menu bar function, alone, although in Firefox you can certainly have both. And so far, this does appear to be running faster than Firefox. Don't know if it's stable yet, I haven't played with this long enough, but so far, so good. All right, let's go to the palemoon.org. Welcome to the Pale Moon project homepage, of course, open source, Firefox based, available for Windows, Android, and Linux. Well, there you go. Some main features optimized for modern processors, familiar, efficient, smooth, and speedy, and an increased stability. Well, I certainly hope that is true. So far, I do like what I see. Of course, your frequently asked questions. I took a brief look at this. The one thing that stuck out, uh, your favorite uh, Firefox extensions may not, all of them may not work in this, just to let you know. Uh, I tested one. In fact, let's go ahead and try that now. Let's go to, let's see, tools, add-ons. And of course, you can go to get add-ons, extensions. Now, it does have a Pale Moon add-ons shortcut and the Mozilla add-ons shortcut. Let's go to the search here. Let's type in uh, weather and let's go to install and it adds a little icon here to the top left now this one does appear to be working chances are a lot of your extensions may work with this but maybe not all of them but that being said I do like what I see so far we do have some release notes here again once again I'll have a link for all of this below in the show notes we have of course the home function here we have the bookmarks toolbar. Right click and this will give you some options here. Again, the same thing as what you would see in Firefox. Uh, let's go back real quick to the frequently asked questions. There was one more thing here I wanted to take a look at. Uh, yes, my antivirus software complains that Pale Moon is a Trojan. What's up with that? Let's go ahead and click that. All right, some antivirus software is a little too paranoid, okay, and they're scanning for potentially dangerous programs. It seems scanning uh, with what is called heuristics is still something extremely difficult for antivirus suites to implement properly, and as a result, some scanners are rather paranoid. Okay, that being said, uh, you should be fine to run this in Windows, of course. In Linux, uh, I don't run any kind of antivirus uh piece of software none of that none whatsoever so it says here pale moon has been scanned by several leading and independent software distributors distributors and found to be 100 percent clean and safe so if you read that don't panic if you're using this in windows you should be just fine but well what can i say so far i do like what i see i think i will keep this i will try to customize this the way that I like it and I will give you an update to this sometime later by the way you can manage search engines also including DuckDuckGo, Google, Yahoo and Bing so definitely check this out once again I will have a link for this below in the show notes 
All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to subscribe and support this channel. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in your browsing future.